Hello everyone, this lesson is about the expected value or the mean of a continuous probability distribution. So we have this lovely formula here, uh, the integral from A to B, the lower and upper limit on the, uh, the interval, uh, and it's x multiplied by the probability density function Px. So let's just have a look at a few examples of this. Uh, what if we had a uniform distribution? So let's, just for argument's sake, pretend that uh, here is our probability density function, here's x, and let's just imagine that the lower limit is 2 and the upper limit is 12. So a uniform distribution has equal value across the interval. Now, we know the area underneath this function has to equal 1, and you will recall from last time there was a lovely little rule 1 over b minus a allows us to calculate the height of this. If you forget the rule, just work out the height so that the area equals 1. So that rule won't be on your formula sheet. And we can easily work this out. The, the base here has a, a length of 10 and for an area of 1 we would have to have a height of 0 0.1. 0 0.1 times 10 equals 1. Now, what about the mean value? The mean value is the integral between a and b of x multiplied by px dx. Now, we have everything we need to work this out. The lower limit is 2, the upper limit is 12. x is a pronumeral. The probability function this time is a constant number, 0.1. Don't forget dx here. So the integral of 0.1x is 0.1x squared over 2, between the limits 2 and 12. Substitution, let's see, what have we got here? 0.1, 12 squared is 144, over 2 minus 0.1, Two squared is four over two. So I have everything over two. I have well, what happened then? Um, I have fourteen point four minus zero point four. So fourteen over two. That's seven. The mean value of this probability density function is seven. Let me write that in. The mean equals seven. Now you probably won't be the least bit surprised to see that the mean divides this thing into two equal areas. So the block on the left would be an area of 0.5 and the block on the right would be an area of 0.5. And because it was a uniform distribution, 0 point, uh, the mean of 7 is exactly the midpoint between the values of A and B. That's a uniform probability distribution and we calculated the mean value. Next time I'll look at a triangular distribution. Thanks for watching.